So now we're going to tackle the obvious error that's happening in our databases. And that's the fact that um, our passwords right here are stored in plain text format. And this is very, very dangerous because for example, if our database gets leaked or something, um, all of these passwords will be available to see. And it's likely that our users will be using the same passwords for different services. So we have essentially exposed their passwords and put all their accounts at risk. And this would land us into a lot of trouble. So we should never be storing passwords in this plain text format. And what we're going to be doing is doing something called hashing. And hashing will basically generate a random string um, from our password in a one-way function. And then this string represents our password, but it can't be translated back into our password. And I'll show you how it works. We'll be using an NPM module to do this called bcrypt. So what you'd want to do is just install bcrypt by running npm install bcrypt and it will be available in package.json. And then for this demo, I'm, I've just required it up here and I have um, an input here, which is going to be our plain text password and I'll call it say dog for this. Then we have like salt rounds and salt rounds is basically like, I guess it's kind of like a random value or a number it's it's it basically says that how many times that we should apply like a repeated part of this algorithm to generate a random string and the string the random string we generate is called a hash and i'll show you how it works so we'll say let hash equals and the method we use to generate a hash using an input and a number of salt rounds is um, a method called and I'm going to use the synchronous methods here. So it's called hash sync. So we want to say bcrypt.hashsync here. And as the first argument, you give the plain text password, which is the input right here. And as the second argument, you give the number of salt rounds that we want to run. And this is eight. And again, the higher we go with these, I think the more secure it becomes or something like that. Um, I'm just going to stick with eight for now. And if we run that now, this is the hash that's been generated. And you can see that the number of salt rounds, um, eight has been available uh, in this it has been presented right here, but this is a completely random string. And what's interesting is actually, if you run this multiple times, um, we get random strings each time. And that's okay because um, this dog can be used to create multiple hash strings and all of these hashes are valid, so that's fine. So the next thing we wanna do is, so that's to create our passwords in the database. So next we're gonna look at checking our passwords. And to check our passwords, the function that we use is, um, let's say, let check equals, and then I'm gonna say bcrypt dot compare sync. That's a method we use to check. And as a first argument, you give the plain text password or the input. And as a second argument, you give the hash. And remember this, the hash that we generated is this hash right here. And if we just, and this will return a Boolean. So the Boolean is true if um, the hash is a valid hash of this current password, and it, it'll be false if that's not the case. So if we run that now, we can see that true gets returned. And that's because this dog has been hashed into this right here. And then what it's done is it's, it's managed to extract the number of rounds from this hash that we gave it using this, I think it uses this H right here. And then what it's done is it's, Run, run a hash function on this input of dog um, to generate these strings. And I think it maybe it runs it multiple times until it finds one that's exactly the same as this. I'm not really too sure, but it's basically hashed the input again and then compares the two hashes to see if they're, they're valid, I guess. Again, I don't know the inner workings of this algorithm. It's probably a very complex algorithm. The important thing you need to note is that this is a one-way algorithm. So in our database, we'll have the password field, which is stored this hash right here. And if our database gets leaked, um, the hackers would only be able to see this hash right here. And it's very, very difficult to convert this back into the plain text password. And um, if you look, um, I think I saw this stack exchange answer. This is, by the way, this bcrypt.org is another way that we can um, hash passwords without using JavaScript. And we can essentially do the same thing right here. If I were to grab this um, hash that we generated here and I put that into here and then I put the password of dog and we can check if they match properly and we should see that, yeah, they match right there.
Um, I also read a Stack Exchange answer, I think, that said that um, if you have an eight character password, it would take a computer roughly four years or something to crack it because the only way to crack these is using trial and error. So it would take absolutely ages. So again, that's another reason why um, it's a good idea to keep your passwords as long as possible. Okay, so let's think about where we need to implement this. So we need to firstly implement the hash sync um, when we're registering our users because instead of storing their plain text password, we want to make sure that we store our hash value. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to import bcrypt at the very top right here. So I'm just going to import bcrypt there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is when we register and when we're creating the document right here, we can see that um, we're storing the current password, which is the plain text password in the password field. And what we want to do here instead is we want to generate a hash from our password. Um, so I'll just say something like let hash equals this. And I'm going to use 12 here because I think that's a bit more secure than 8. And what we can do is instead of storing the hash, we can just sim instead of storing the password, sorry, we can simply store the hash. So that hash string will now be stored in our database. The next thing we need to do is implement this comparison when we are checking the passwords in our local strategy. So remember up here, um, if I find the right spot, yeah, we said that if the password field of the user isn't equal to the plain text password, um, we want to return false. What we want to do here instead is we want to run this and it, as the input here this time it'll be the password that we take in into our local strategy and the hash this time remember we store the hash when we register in request in the user's password box in the user's password field in the document so we want to put user.password here and what this will then do is that when we're authenticating it'll use that um, password and it will grab the number of rounds from our hash. It will hash the password with that many rounds and then it will check if it's a valid hash and bcrypt will do that for us. And then it will return true if they are the passwords are the password is valid and the hash is correct or it will return false. And remember that um, this check specific check was checking if the passwords weren't valid so we want to make sure that we invert this. So if this returns um, false right here and will return false. Otherwise, um, the hash passwords match and then we can return the user. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing in our challenge. So the first thing we just want to do is install bcrypt. So I'm just going to do npm install bcrypt like this. And um, what I'm also going to do is up here, I'm just going to require it. So I'll say let uh, bcrypt equals require and remember the package name is just bcrypt like this um, yeah and that's been installed so I'm just gonna run refresh here um, again we might have to be careful about how we write stuff down um, so I'm just gonna copy this because it might it's probably just for the best but I'm gonna show you how it works anyway so um, when we're registering our users so that's all the way down here um, we want to make sure that we generate the hash first. So we take the request or body or password, we hash it with 12 rounds, and then we store it as this hash right here. And then in the document, when we register, we can simply store the hash. And then the other thing we want to do is make sure that um, we use the bcrypt compare sync here. So we want to copy that. And in our local strategy, when we are um, checking the user passwords, what we want to do is replace it with this. So this will take the plain text password and it will look at the number of rounds. Remember the number of rounds is usually available in the um, at the very start of the hash. So this is eight right there and that's eight right there. Um, so it'll use that number of rounds to run the hash function on our plain text password. And then it will compare that hash to the um, users user documents password field which also contains a hashed password and if those match and then this will return true and if that doesn't return true we'll return false here um, because the passwords don't match otherwise we'll return the user so that should be everything we need to do so I'm gonna copy that and try submitting it um, 
Again, I don't expect it to work, so we might have to go and do some fixes. No, that seems to have worked. So yeah, that's everything we need to do right there to complete that challenge.